And uh -huh. speaking about crazy things, we have our very own upcoming socialite, Shakila. Woo, woo, woo. Now, if you don't know who Shakila is, you're probably not into the entertainment section as you should be. And uh, Shakila is known to have dated Eriko Mondi on his series about finding a wife. She has been known to date Extendela. Yeah. Or it was Clout or something. Mm. She has been done, known to do very um, sexy pictures and just be out there doing the most on the internet. True. She even recently embarrassed us as Kenyans. Like we were collectively embarrassed when she started dating Zazu. Do you know that guy, the Nigerian artist? You haven't heard the song? I have so, heard the song. Yeah, so he was dating that guy and they were just doing the most on the internet with him, filming her while she was twerking for him. And we were just embarrassed, Shakila. We were embarrassed, please. Anyway, <laughs> for the third time in a row, Shakila is turning 20 years old. And this time, there was drama involved. So, here goes the story. Let me tell you the story from when it started. So it's the day of her birthday. She goes over to her boyfriend's house, her Nigerian boyfriend, and finds that he is not at home. So immediately she thinks that he is cheating on her. Mm. So what does she do? She takes this man's passport and goes ahead to ask for $5,000. Ebongeza zero mbili, tuweke Kenyan currency. Exactly, she was asking for half a million to release this passport. Can you see where I'm going with this? Can you see how crazy it is? Your supposed boyfriend, you're now holding ransom because you think he's cheating on you. However, the, the boyfriend's brother decided to confront Shakila mm -hmm. and it ended up in a fight. And somebody decided to tell us, the in-laws, what was going on so that we could sip the tea, so that we could know what's going on. Now, you would expect Shakila to actually come back and try and clear her name. But nah, she did not. Instead, she posted on her social media, I would like to disassoci disassociate myself from those videos that might later surface on the internet of me being involved in an argument or dispute today. Whatever happened, I believe uh, time is what shall make it heal. And it was my bad for my business and personal re uh, re relations. Queen of the streets, that's what I've always been nicknamed. But uh, like a real street brawl, that was not for me. Basically, she's saying she might be a queen of the streets, but she's not going to be fighting over a man. Well, baby girl, happy birthday, first of all. And you still have a long, long way to go. Because mm -hmm. I can remember when Kamena Goro had taken her under her wing and was promising to, you know, show Shakila the right way and what to do and what not to do to rebrand herself. She looked like she was going in a good direction. And then I don't know what happened. You know, you'd also expect that at this age, she'd be focusing on something more substantial and something long term. But nah, you still want to entertain us. If you want to be a socialite, do it in the correct way. Make it classy. Make it Kanyimbao. Make it Zari Hassan. You know, don't be out here doing the most with people who won't do anything for you. Because in the end, you, you're just embarrassed. True. We also remember that even her family had disowned her. Yeah. So you can, I can just imagine the mental state she's in and what she's going through at such a young age. And she is exposed and all out here on the internet for everyone to judge. So I am putting that into account. You're very young. You're very famous. What do you do with it? So do you think there's a way that fame actually impacts us and it's so negative and we get lost in it and we're just grasping at straws and the next scandal and the next boyfriend just to remain relevant. I feel like Shakila is the poster child for how not to be a socialite. <laughs> that was me. I say this with a lot of concern. Mm -hmm. First of all, you've been 20 for five years, okay? So what's that? That's one way of just making sure that you feel young, which could be deeper, could be a re reflection of deeper seated issues. Mm -hmm. But then again, let's not psychoanalyze this girl. She's young. She's living her best life. However, in as much as we keep saying that at 20, we used to be crazy at 20, we used to be. I think it's time for us to recognize that sometimes when we were at 20, we didn't have social media where we could just like blast all. OK, it's your age bad. is showing your age is showing. 
What do you mean you didn't have social media? We didn't have the, the social media. <laughs> We didn't have the social media pressure where we could just like dump everything online, mm -hmm. right? Simply because you are on Facebook wouldn't necessarily mean that you were on Facebook showing everyone your business. But unfortunately, this young lady has not only shown us her business, she's shown everyone else her between us. It's just, it's it's a lot, Shakila. And I understand that, yes, you may have some issues with your parents and your relationship with your family, but that doesn't mean that you let the world then treat you like a rag doll because that's exactly what the world is doing to you. You're hopping from boyfriend to another just to keep relevant. You're constantly showing us something on social media, and I hope that you don't come for me because honey i don't got the time mm -hmm. but my story ultimately is please you need either to check yourself or to have other people check you because i'm not understanding why a 20 year old who is running around with nigerians hmm, well. is threatening them for money does that mean that one your relationship isn't stable enough that you would get the kind of financial you know i don't know assistance that you need so much so that now you're feeling the need to threaten this man because that's not a sign of a good relationship to begin with mm. if your partner is cheating on you the result is not to punish him the result is to have a conversation with him and figure out the way forward and additionally the people who are snitching on you are pretty much your friends because if it's your the girlfriends to your br to your boyfriend's brother, brother. <laughs> That is snitching on you. That is it's snitching on you on social media and posting all of these stories on social media. You need to check who you're hanging out with. I feel like some of these stories are very pertinent to how much do you realize your fame is affecting you? You need to realize that some of these things you can do, but don't get caught. It's the same reason why, as a celebrity, you go to a party and immediately someone says, Oh, Kathomi, Kathomi. Immediately you are switched up. You've code switched, you're a whole new person, you're, you know, prim and proper, and none of the ratchet is coming out. Mm -hmm. And I know it is your repertoire, but yourself, you're saying that it is not the kind of reputation that you want to be your definition. So start to show us the changes, honey, because the kind of people you're hanging out with that you're threatening money out of, oh, it's going to come back and bite you right in the hiney because True. there is no way you're going to steal someone, blackmail someone with, and ex try and extort them, and they don't have something that they can do the exact same thing um, against you with. I mean, what if they have your nudes? And now your nudes are all over social media. And it's now it's a we whole... we haven't seen, though. Okay, so. stop. We haven't seen her between us. So just, like, try. Uh, try and, <laughs> you know... <laughs> I'm trying, to, seen I'm, trying, I'm trying to say, Shakila, there's so much more of yourself that you can do th that doesn't necessarily involve you selling yourself short and showing off your body to the wrong people. Just find find a person who's willing to guide you because, like, hey, I don't know. I, now I'm kind of understanding why I'm going to go like, yeah. You know, make it make sense. Shakila, sort yourself out. Please check yourself.